Tony and Errol, gentlemen's hairdressers. One of them actually said that the way to improve Britain is to get children to be taught how to be British in schools. And you think, how can you teach Britishness? How do you turn a nationality into an equation? Was it Great Britain equals money over principle times arrogance? That's all you need to know. <laughs> how do you test if someone is British? Do you take them out to Corfu for a week? And if after a week they're not pissing blood, foreign. What do you do? Do you, have, do you have a huge written exam, big written examination all about British culture, British leisure, British pastime, British history, and if you fail it, British. <laughs> Dad, I failed my British exam. I'm proud of you, son. They can take away your job, they can take away your house, they'll never take away your ignorance, boy, you're British. <laughs> my boy is so thick, he could be thick for Britain. <laughs> Where'd you come from, boy? <laughs> Welcome aboard the Scandal Tour. Around each site you will meet a symbol, and that symbol will tell you roughly what the scandal is. It's either sex or money. So here it is. This is the employment agency for rich people. That's what it is. Margaret Thatcher used to live there. She, she used to drink there a lot. Now it's here that the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Norman Lamont, hired flat out to a prostitute. She then uh, had to be evicted, and what she did was he used public money to get rid of her. As you can see, there is some form of confrontation taking place right now uh, over this, and um, oh, she's been dragged away. Now, can you imagine what would the person look like if Bella Lugosi and Dickie Davis somehow had a child? Do you want to pass that round? Could you pass that round? Do you all know who Bella Lugosi is? Here we are. This is what that person would look like. Then you look at our great symbols, you know. We're supposed to be this nation of patriots, so what do we do with our Union Jack? Turn it into a pair of boxer shorts, dribble, piss and fart in the fucker. That's what we do. You know, we've got the Lion of England. Since when have lions been indigenous to England? If they were, in Yorkshire, you get lion breeders clubs. Recent lion, is this? What do you feed him? Anything he wants. <laughs> you see, the way that you look at, you look at, you know, all the symbols, all the things that we have of our nationality. How do we prove our love? And you, and you get this, you know, you get this, let's put the great back into Great Britain, which I've never heard anywhere else. I've never heard, let's put the ooh in Peru. Yeah. <laughs> let's put the we in Sweden. <laughs> let's put the sofa back into the United States, sofa America. Yeah. <laughs> This is an infamous site. This is where the Minister for the Disabled, Nicholas Scott, was involved in a car accident, thus trying to create more disabled people and do his bit. This is the child. He pinned down, he pinned down a child in between two cars um, and then ran away from the scene of the crime. You can see him running away. The woman is uh, shouting at the child and she was shouting, it doesn't matter, he's French. Money was in fact involved here because the wife of uh, Nicholas Scott sued a newspaper because it wasn't her who was in the car that Nicholas Scott ran away from. We're getting out of Ireland. Britain is leaving Ireland. We've had enough. Leave it. I'm leaving. Don't try and follow me. Leave it. I know I'm going. Keep the H blocks. I'm taking the records. Leave it. And I know we've just sent the troops in, but that's a bit of an okey cokey at the moment. <laughs> Send the troops in, pull them out. In, uh, uh. And the thing is, we're going to leave. And my one piece of advice to Irish people is very simple. Doesn't matter what occurs. If you keep your eye on the goal of a united and peaceful Ireland, it will happen. But if you discover oil, you keep stum. Because <laughs> Britain will be straight back in. We've forgotten our umbrella and we just need to have a look around. <laughs> look, I quite like the Ulster Unionists because they want to be British. But the best place to be British is Britain, isn't it? Being British in Ireland, not very good. <laughs> and what the Ulster Unionists do, they charge around with bowler hats and sashes and they march everywhere. They just charge around the place. Go, We're British! We are British! And that's how you behave when you're on holiday abroad. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Wait, 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 show them your ass. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't need an army because we're leaving Ireland. We don't need an army because uh, what have we got that anyone would invade us for? What have we got? Pick and mix. Mm. <laughs> if you're worried about being invaded, you don't need an army. What you need is privet hedge all around the coastline. <laughs> No one gets through Privet, do they? <laughs> the invading army go, God, oh, God, oh, Privet. <laughs> we know the invading army wouldn't even get halfway up the beach before they met Britain's first line of defence. Oh, poo, shit, condoms, tampons. Yeah. Because <laughs> we have got so many used condoms in the sea that Catholics have to get a dispensation to go in it. <laughs> it's true. Bless me, Father, for I have swimmed. That's what I say. <laughs> We're coming up here now to, this is the house of Alan Duncan. He made a profit of £50,000 just by slipping around the rules of house purchasing in this country. As you can see, we've got sex and money here. This is where a friend of Geoffrey Archer's paid £2,000 on Geoffrey Archer's behalf to a prostitute. This is the home, here we are, of Jonathan Aitken. Um, there's lots of scandal going on. He also went out with a woman who was accused of being a prostitute. He later denied it. He said he would cut down the journalist with his sword of truth. So there we are. Let's one more time for the sword of truth. Now, this man we're about to show you, he was originally the Minister of Fun until somebody found out that his fun was something else. You can see here this is a sex symbol because it was here that David Meller, an MP, was, was actually had an affair with an actress called Antonia de Sanchez. And she was a very, very good actress because David Meller is extremely ugly. It was at this house that an MP called Stephen Milligan was found dead. He was found dead on the 8th of February 1994, two days after he actually had died, and he was found dead on his kitchen table with a plastic bag on his head and some electrical cord round his rope. At first people suspected MI5 involvement, it later found out to be a tragic, self-inflicted death. For us to show you this house, we believe, will be an act of disrespect. If you'd like to eat your satsumas now, please do. In Yorkshire, they're under possibility of, of water restrictions. Now, now is March, isn't it? So that'll be your spring slash winter season. Which will be your rainy bit, won't it? And in Yorkshire, there's a drought. Yorkshire, the arid county of Britain. Because whenever you go up to Yorkshire, it's just tumbleweed billowing across the bottom. Cactuses, blokes with sombreros going into pubs. Hey, gringo, you give me a plate of tripe and a mashy peas. <laughs> <laughs> and Yorkshire Water actually made a hundred million quid profit in six months out of a drought. I was actually in Yorkshire recently and I was in a pub and I don't drink alcohol. And a bloke said to me, what do you want to drink? And I said, oh, anything, tap water. You flash fucking southern bastard. <laughs> We've got. A, we've just got a tanker of water for you. Got what? A tanker of water. We've got. A, there's a tanker of water from the people of Ethiopia. They've given. Come and have a look. There's a tanker out there. It's a gift for the people of Ethiopia to Yorkshire Water, and they've given.